I didn't get a chance to shoot this video before going out, but I got to spend some time with Dylan, the farm manager out here at Shaker Village. Uh, he showed us some of the agricultural components of what they have going on out here, and it was a, a fun, full day, uh, even though it ended with a little rain shower. trying to balance two key ideas. Uh, one being <clears throat> resilience, um, which is what I think is lacking in a lot of our modern systems, and that comes through high diversity. Um, that's why we've got as many different crops up to about 35 each year, including the animals. Lots of different things working through this system that are all going to help one another, but also just sort of hedge our bets. Um, we're going to have bad years in certain crops, maybe even with certain livestock, uh, but by being high in diversity, we can virtually guarantee that we're going to have good years and other things. Um, but we can't just hunt and gather everything either. We need to build in the efficiency, and so that's where it comes into. So it's this balance of resilience and efficiency um, in our crop rotations and in the layout and even some of the planting patterns that we do. Behind me are the ducks. We also use pigs uh, that we incorporate into the garden right now. They do nutrient cycling, um, obviously, you know, through manures. Um, we're, we're able to build our fertility up after we've depleted it through some extractive processes of annual vegetables year after year, we put a lot more back in. Um, we feed these animals quite a bit from what's grown at the farm right here, right now, um, but we're also bringing in other sorts of feeds. We do that some, in, a, in some instances, um, buckets and buckets, loads of compost from our restaurant every day that are coming in here. And all that is, we think of as topsoil from somebody else's farm that then stays here. So it's really about putting as much in as we take back out. this orchard which is um, 40 or more years old at least some of these trees we've got a lot of these heirloom varieties full-size trees um, that are a little bit more difficult to pick and harvest and um, nowadays a little bit harder to market um, because of you know kind of the ugly skins and things that make them taste good uh, they've got a lot of the traits that we really like so our strategy for marketing these is mostly in value-added products uh, and we're exploring right now the opportunities uh, in things like applesauce um, and with the boom in the microbrewery scene uh, nationwide here in Kentucky, with some ciders as well. Well, the rain officially brought an end to a great visit with Dylan. They have so many cool, diverse things going on out here at Shaker Village. Uh, in terms of agriculture, but also thinking about some of the marketing, uh, thinking about the issues that nonprofits face, they have it all going on and it's, uh, it's an amazing team they have out here. So like last time, I'm going to leave you with Dylan's thoughts about what it most excites him about Shaker Village. The thing that really most excites me about Shaker Village are just the opportunities that we have with the land base that we've got and some of these um, areas like the one we're standing in right now that is fairly large by our standards but not large by the standards of the conventional agricultural practices that are currently being done here and even some of our conservation practices that are spanning hundred you know several hundred acres um, this is an 18 acre plot that hasn't fallen neatly into either one of those two systems um, and our goal is to use some agricultural processes um, animals some of those sorts of mechanisms to accomplish the same goals that we would do in a conservation sense uh, by other means. So what we're talking about is dealing with some of the invasive species, again, getting some of that nutrient cycling going. And just beyond our view of uh, vision here, we've got a nice old pond that's gonna make a really nice wetland for us. We wanna study that um, and see if we can get some sort of an agricultural product off this 
in the short term, it'll probably be goats, and we'd like to transition into farrowing uh, sow hogs. Um, this is a, a really great place for sows. We could then take the pigs to some other part of the farm. Um, but doing all of that and still maintaining the same um, conservation excellence that we've been able to get in other parts of the village. So uh, we're really trying to blur the lines, play in these gray areas, and change some people's perspectives, change our own perspectives, and just kind of show what's possible um, in a great place like this.